Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. This is how you do a burnout. This is how you do a burnout in Forza, guys. Don't don't try to upgrade your car any more than this. This is how it works. Yeah, no. This is this is right. Yeah, that's right. Hey guys, welcome back to another Forza Horizon 3 video. Today we're going to be continuing off where we uh continuing where we left off last episode with the AMC Pacer. Oh. Oh. I just uh oh. Oh, that's a good way to start a video. But anyway, other than that, other than that, we're going to be continuing where we left off with the AMC Pacer X Barn Find Restoration build. And right now we found a uh an AI driver who seems to have died. But conveniently, it's one that would give us a lot of money if they uh, actually moved and let me race them. So we're just going to reverse out of that situation and drive off and see if they want to come back alive so I can challenge them to a race. Because uh, if not, then uh, that sucks. We're just going to whip around the map here. And then we're just going to do another donut. And it doesn't look like it's moving, but either way, we're gonna go and try out to see if it's gonna want me to challenge it so I can get some money. Cause this this build isn't done yet, not yet. It ain't. Come on, challenge. No? Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna continue where we were going. And the hey guys, I, I don't know what happened there. The recording just cut out for some reason, but. We're going to continue where we're going. That was to the festival to check out what upgrades we can do with this brand new acquired money that I have. Which is a total of 97,000. Which is ki kind of a lot for a car like- Oh wait, there's someone. There's someone. That person can give me money, so I'm going to race them. Hello, Mr. Xbox Master 412. He's actually part of my friends list. Thanks, Forza. Get back here. Get back here. But uh, the last episode, we introduced the you guys, the audience, to this brand new car that I acquired called the AMC Pacer X, built in the 1970s and most famously known as one of the bad guys from Cars 2 from the evil scientist team of Lemons, as they are called in the car, the car enthusiast community. And... Uh, yeah, we tried to build the car up and get some get some horsepower, some speed, some launch, some everything. But we ran out of money, so we went off to do some races to test out the car as it is. And now we are acquiring new cash. Actually, I'm, I just realized I missed the, the turn a long time ago. We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen, okay? Okay, there we go. There you go, that's how you do the turn, right? That's how it's done. That's how it's done properly. Yep, that, that's how it's done. Don't try this at home, kids. But uh, either way, we were working on it, we were doing some races, we were talking, conversating, and uh, now is the day to finish the build. Today is the day where the build gets finished. And uh, soon to start is another special classic car that I have waiting for me in my garage. You're not going to know it yet, but it's something, let's just say, German. German is the clue that you will get. And uh, it, just in case you didn't see the last episode yet and you just clicked on this first, uh, the reason I haven't been uploading much is because of school and all the preparation we have for big tests coming up so I can finally finish the year and make more YouTube videos. Yeah! But uh, either way, I'm doing kind of good in school right now and it's making me happy and it's letting me have more opportunities to make YouTube videos because my parents are happy and they let me. But uh, here we go. We just finished that up. And now we're going to set a, dest a, a, a duh, waypoint to the festival and see how long it takes to get there. I just won that race and I got 43 grands from it. So now it should be plenty to be able to upgrade this pacer to maximum power, maximum opportunity, and do some actually good races and good fun stuff with it. Such as testing the high speed, testing the launch, and doing all kinds of other stuff with the car. Yeah. What I noticed 
for this car is that it's handling or it's turning too is really bad unless you want to hit the skids uh, I guess that's because it hasn't really been upgraded on any other department except for the motor and the uh, hood but uh, that, that that's fine we'll get to that eventually and uh, yeah it, it's cool I like the car So, one thing I would like to mention is, uh, my, the car I would like to get when I grow up, and that car would, would, to, would like to, I would like the car to be a Nissan 240SX. I'll show you the, the actual car in the auto show in a second, but, uh, it's a Japanese sports car, or like a JDM vehicle that people like to customize. Uh, they have many different styles for the car. There's f from the 1980s to the 2000s, and there's the sil the 240SX. I'm pretty sure is the S13, this particular one that I enjoy, and it has Rocket Bunny kits and lots of other special customizable fenders and bumpers and hoods and side skirts and everything to go along with the vehicle. And I think it's actually a really cool car, and I enjoy it a lot. But uh, yeah. Here we go, continuing the customization options for the AMC Pacer. We're just going to add everything. We're going to deck the car out to its maximum potential. Uh, we're just going to put that back on because we know we took that off last episode because we couldn't afford it. We're going to put some Hot Wheels race tires because those are the bestest. Ultra most bestest Little Caesars Pizza. We're going to put extra thick tires. Specialized rims. We're going to put on 1552s if I can find them. If I can, there we go. I think. No, nope, those are rotiforms. Are they not in this category? No, they're not. They're in this. Yeah, multi-piece. 1552 rims to me are like my favorites. I don't know. I just like them a lot. Here we go. 1552s. Those. 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 And then there's the other kind of 1552s from this category. It starts here. No, there, here. And there's these. Or this, or yeah, this, this. I like these. And then we're gonna make the rims only slightly bigger, so that they're more noticeable. Now, continue on to the drivetrain. We need to upgrade that clutch. We're gonna upgrade that transmission, the drive line, and the differential, because all of that makes a car better and just better. Upgrade those brakes because you need it to stop for the one of the challenges. Uh, low, yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. Weight reduction because you need that launch. Chassis just in case. Uh, let's see, engine, yes, there's plenty of engine options. Make it faster, make it more powerful, make it everything. We especially need that turbo upgrade, especially. Yeah, there you go, there you go. That's almost the entire budget we have for the car. But uh, yeah, now it's just amazing. Now it's the best car in the game. 1,515 horsepower and an AMC Pacer. Oh boy. That's just putting a Lamborghini Aventador engine in it. That's just incredible. Alright, off we go. I'll see you guys when we get to the airfield. Alright, so we've arrived here at the airfield. And now we're going to conduct some professional tests on the Pacer. To see all kinds of different things like top speed. Uh, zero to sixty. I don't. I don't want to look at the tuning specs exactly, because I want it to be based on my account. But here we go. Zero to sixty. So, there. That was really quick. Okay. Now we're not gonna. That's too difficult to test without an actual timer, and without like ultra slow motion. But here we go. We're gonna test the top speed of the AMC Pacer X with a Lamborghini Aventador V12 engine in it. Which makes this a really good sleeper vehicle, if you know what I mean. This doesn't look too fast, does it? But we're getting to that ultimate point, and it seems to be 230... I saw 232 there. So basically, the top speed of this vehicle is around 231.7, 232, 232.1 maybe. And oh my god, the amount of rolls. Jesus Christ. This car is actually really fun, oh my god. 
But that's the top speed. So now you know if you get an AMC Pacer X and you want to upgrade it to the maximum speed, that maximum speed is going to be 232. So if that's not good enough for you, choose another car. Now we're going to test its launching capabilities. And what I mean by that is not the acceleration per se, but how well the car particularly flies through the air, you might want to say. We're just gonna take a slight detour here and we're gonna yay! Oh my god. Oh, the map is even glitching out. That means that the. That's a lot. Of, let's see how far that went. Exactly. Let's see how far that went. Here we go. That's a very long distance. We took the turn from here. So we went around this way. The ramp is around here. So that means we did around this big of a jump. That's a pretty big jump, if you may ask me. So let's just say that the AMC Pacer may not be the most aerodynamic car, but it, it gets pretty far if you're trying to launch it somewhere. And now we're going to do the test from... No, what was it? Yeah, braking test. So I'm going to get to, let's say, 100 miles an hour from the end of this part of the runway and see where it lands compared to the Aventador. We're going to test it with an Aventador too. It doesn't... Yeah, we're going to test it with an Aventador as well. There we go. Get that engine nice and warmed up. Do some of that burnout, please. Yes. All right, now the tires are warmed up. We're going to actually perform form the launch here we go and stop thank you all right and three two one go all right so as soon as i see a hundred all right that's i saw it that yep 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 all right nope stop stop all right so we're just gonna see that on the map to compare it and it's basically right at the beginning of the the satellite array so right at the beginning of the satellite array is when the AMC Pacer can stop at around 100 to 105 miles an hour. So now we're going to get in our very great Lamborghini Aventador after we scroll through this large amount of vehicles. The Aventador I have is this one. It may not be a stock Aventador, but you know, it's it's good enough. It's got a it's got the original KSI uh, wrap on it the nice purple chrome with the stripe the Tron lines and uh, I like this one better than his newer one anyway So we're gonna do that test at the end of the runway uh, Let's go on over and we're gonna whip around and yes, it has a Liberty walk kit if you were wondering There we go. We're gonna start at the same spot, please and there all right three two one Go. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, stop. Okay, there, stop. There you go. Alright, now let's check that out of the map. It's it's quicker. Because I noticed that the little dot, the icon for the AMC Pacer, stopped at around halfway through the dot at the beginning of the satellite array, and this one's only around uh, like a fifth of the, the dot or a fourth of the dot. So that means the Aventador is the actual Aventador LP700-4, I, I believe. I don't really like or care for Lamborghinis as much as other cars. But uh, I think this one has a quicker acceleration to 100, or 0 to 100. And uh, this one would beat the Pacer in the acceleration test. Of course, it's a Lamborghini. Why would it not? But uh, that's, that's going to conclude our episode for Barn Fine Restorations today. That's the end of the AMC Pacer X. We'll never see that car again, hopefully. But uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll do another episode on it with more rec races and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new and if you want to. Comment down below any, might, any games you might want me to play or test out on Xbox, mobile, PS4, PC, anything. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.